Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and drop those donut emojis in the chat. It's glazed and confused with Techie Toe. Hey. Look at this set. We got the Tokyo Tower. We got Ropungi Hills over there. All right, so welcome to Glaze and Confuse. I'm Tikto. We got our co-host, Mia, over here. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it is confusing. It's a late night show, but it's in the mornings. We got a new segment. What was your favorite segment from the last one, Mia? I like the jokes. Do you remember my favorite joke? Uh, yes. Can you tell the joke? I'll set you up and then you tell the punch. So, what did the zero say to the eight? Eight. Nice belt. <laughs> That's Sorry. Easy. Yeah, that's good. All right, so what did yeah, zero say to the eight? Nice bell. You guys are going to love this. This next segment. Got a nice little opener that I'm proud of. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. What is this? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Dumb news. <laughs> oh, good work. We're going to read some news headlines. We're going to talk about them, have some hot takes, and rate those news segments on how dumb the title sounds. The first dumb news. Rogue Grandma breaks bones on slide after sneaking to a water park at 2 a.m. The woman and her friend, the grandma, their legs collided with the barrier blocking the exit, shattering their feet and fracturing her shin. Ouch! So chat, what do you think about this rogue grandma? I can throw it to me a little bit here. What if your grandma called you at 2.30 a.m.? She's like, I broke my shin because uh, I've been drinking and I went down a water slide. How would you respond? Would you go pick her up? Yeah, of course. I'd say, cute. Help me! So Mia, how dumb is this news? I would give it a two because grandmas are cute. Wait, two what? out of 10 because grandmas are cute. So this one's super important for those of you going through some hardships. This show is not just to entertain people. This is to help people as well. If you're having a hard time after that breakup and you, you know, that's when you need to be lifted up the most. And the way you get through these breakups is you take my advice. Here we go. <laughs> Tip number one, never revisit the place you got dumped at. For example, I can't walk by a Starbucks on the block near my house without crying. Step number two, go home. Replay the entire relationship in your mind to see where you could have saved it. So you pinpoint six weeks ago when you couldn't remember all five of her best friend's name. Number three, update your Facebook status to single. Put a smiley face on it. If you do that, people will definitely know this breakup is a good thing. Wow, good job on that breakup, techie. Step four, cry. Really let it out. And then get up and make yourself a smoothie. Helps replenish your uh, dehydrated skin after crying the whole time. Number five, purge your apartment of anything that reminds you of them. Wouldn't it be cool living in an apartment that has nothing in it? Make a little bonfire. No issues with that whatsoever. Your landlord would never call you after that smoke alarm's been going off since 2 a.m. Step number six, now that you've burned everything, buy all new stuff to fill your apartment in. But you can't. The only thing that can fill your soul is Tracy. He's gone. Congrats, rock bottom. Then you realize you don't know how to get over someone. This one seems a little targeted. And then you write a bit about getting over someone on your VTuber late night talk show and hope that somehow she sees and knows you're supposed to be together. Tracy, are you actually in the chat now? Tracy, are you there? Do you guys see Tracy? He's probably being shy. Don't worry about it. Next step is end the bit. Tracy! All right, go back to step four. <laughs> Those are my breakup tips. I hope everyone's feeling great now that you've uh, recovered. We're gonna go back to the dumb news segment. This is a bit of a hot topic, you know, but we're a mature audience, so uh, let's jump right into it. Wow, 40% of people would have sex with a robot. Study exclaims. So uh, chat, would you have sex with a humanoid robot? I wonder if someone's gonna get married to me. You can think about it. 40% of people would ship themselves with Techie Toe. Juan, can you look up someone marrying a rice cooker? Is that true? Oh my god. Wait, is that true? A man from Indonesia's Java. Okay. Koi Rule, he married his rice cooker. Seriously? Oh, there are pictures. Wait, there are pictures. Do they look happy? He divorced it after four days. Oh, <laughs> it's not a happy ending. What do you think the argument was about? He decided to marry his rice cooker as it was there. Obedient, loving, and good at cooking. <laughs> then why did they divorce? They divorced four days later because it could only cook rice. Okay, so that, that was like a one-sided breakup. So what do you rank this headline? I would give that a seven. Seven out of ten. How about a guy marrying a rice cooker? Rob? Ten out of ten. <laughs> that is a ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you may have heard that Tokyo's largest and, in your humble host's opinion, best nightclub, Ageha, closing down. And here to give us tips on how to find the next perfect nightclub. Oh no, it's my long lost brother, Aww. Techie Two. Sup, Techie Two here. And when it comes to being cool, this Techie is number one. Come on, tell us about these clubs, man. Don't worry, Techie Two is here to help you find the next cool club with a set of Criteria. Criteria number one. Drinks gotta be overpriced. One drink should cost more than dinner. That way you get tipsy on 4,000 yen. Strong zero. Techie, do you even know what a strong zero is? It's that drink that's really bad for you. You don't know that. Stop giving me your facts, geek. Number two. It should be loud as hell like my voice. You gotta shout like this. Hello! Number three, young clientele. They let someone in Techie's age, you know it's not very cool. But we're the same age. How are you younger than me? That doesn't make any sense. I was born after you, bro. Don't you remember? Idiot. 
Number four, their Instagram page. Anything less than 10,000 followers is a no-go. Techie, that's like 9,990 more followers than you have on Instagram. I don't think I have an Instagram. Do I have an Instagram page? See, told you, he's a geek. All right, number five, sound quality. You just need to feel the bass in your bones. That seems unhealthy. Number six, atmosphere. The best clubs smell like Zara. It's like a nice Uniqlo. Uniqlo? What's wrong with Uniqlo? Aren't you wearing the same shirt as me? And number seven, for my list of criteria for clubs, exclusivity. If you walk into a club and Tiki Toes there, you know you're in the wrong club. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, that's rude. Hey, Mia, what do you think about this idiot's tips, huh? Sorry, man, I'm laughing. <laughs> Leave her alone, man. She's just trying to hang out. Oh, it's literally in the script. Mia, who's side on you are? I'd go with Dickie, too. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. right, man. Yeah, he's cool. All right, all right. Well, get that guy. Hey, hey, Potato Hut. How's it going? You're now sitting on the couch. Bobby! Where's Bobby? Bobby! Bobby. Who's Bobby? I gave him $5 to get me nachos. So what's going on? What's going on today? Yeah, so, so we're just... Bobby! <laughs> We're just having some fun on the late night show. How am I doing? How would you rate my talk show? You're okay. I'm okay. That's okay. Actually, I'll take that. I'll take that. We both have some things in common though. You know, like yeah. you're, you're edible. My hat's edible. You know? I'm not edible, man. Bobby! Any farm gossip? I don't like your questions, man. <laughs> I got another question. Yeah. As a root, do you feel a lot of pressure to stay grounded? Dude, I don't like your questions, man. <laughs> What the hell? How long does it take you to get baked? <laughs> hey. Hold on, watch, watch me flex. Watch. All right, all right. <laughs> you, you almost went out of the ground. You're gonna run away from home. Ah, be careful, yeah. be careful, be careful. I'm gonna start up like a YouTube channel for like fitness tips. What do you think? Fitness tips? From you? <laughs> Look at these muscles, man. Ah. Uh, although I have to say, Potato, you do have very nice teeth. Maybe you should do like a dental hygiene channel. <laughs> Hold on, hiding the potato. Jeez. Is he done? Okay, okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> So in that last segment, I revealed that my ex-girlfriend is named Tracy. Tracy, okay. Yeah. Hey, Tracy, come over here for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Baby, come back. You know, I knew after things went rough, Tracy went underground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Who's Bobby? Can you tell us more about Bobby? I gave Bobby $5. He hasn't showed up yet? No, nachos. Maybe if we call him together, right? Three, two, one, we're going to yell at Bobby. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Bobby! 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 Tracy! Ah! Tracy! Ah! I'm not over you yet! Tracy! You look sadder than I do when I was talking about Tracy. Nachos. Oh, Bobby! Bobby, Three. you found Bobby! Okay, you found Bobby! Like Three, two, one, Bobby! <laughs> How'd you like that segment? Oh my God, I love Potato Man, whoever he is. People were asking, how is he dating your ex-girlfriend? Is Tracy in a potato? Why are you bullying me? That's right, that geek, he dates potatoes. All right, all right, let me move to some uh, dumb news. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, dumb news. Okay, so uh, BBC News. Shakira says she was the victim of a random attack by a pair of wild boars. Animals, literally animals, attacked her before seizing her bag and retreating into the woods. The reason why we know about this boar attack in Barcelona is that she what? shared it on Instagram, like instantly, right after she was done. Actually, I, I think we have the footage of her Instagram right here. <laughs> Get away from me, boars. Hi, I'm Shakira. Kira, put down my bag. I need that. La 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 la. Please now just go away. Yeah, what is she carrying in that purse? Can you ask Shakira? She can answer. Uh, hey Shakira, what, what did you have in your bag? I was bringing, um, I did finish all my food from Barbacoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty uh, specific there, Shakira. Yeah, I believe her story, you know. You know what they say about Shakira? That her hips don't lie. Yeah, if you got attacked by boars, would you put it on Instagram? It's like a dumb thing to do right after you're done, right? No, it's not a dumb thing to do. What? I would do the same thing. No, call the police. Call oh, the police. so you could do? All right, Shakira, how do you like the show? How do you like potato? I love potato. Stamina, <laughs> mina. <laughs> okay, uh, any last words, Techie? And right. bring out Tech 2. We love oh, Tech 2. Well, thanks for watching my cool show. Hey, Mia, see you at the club later. See ya. What? No, see no, ya, no, 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 no. Get no, out of no, here, Techie. That's not how it works. All right, well, that was Glaze and Confused. Always stay sweet, name.